Danger. High voltage. Oh. Scuba divers. I tell you what, you know you Uniforms. got a big aquarium. And this right here, guys, is the guts to the aquarium. What does something like this cost you to maintain monthly? That is crazy. The difference? A whole room full. There are stairs. Thought it ended here? You're wrong. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video. I'm in a hotel room with these guys. Hey, Jay Kwan. Hey, Brenton. Are you taking your blood? Today's video is actually in New York. Right now we're in Columbia. 188, wow, that's high. <laughs> if my blood sugar's good, I'm good, baby. There's a lot going on right now. This you'll all see later. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. But today, like I said, we're flying you back to New York. And in New York, we went and saw the largest, the most expensive, top tier in the hobby, the man himself, Andrew Sandler. Showing his aquarium, giving you the whole back end look of that aquarium. It is epic, and I'm glad I got to share it with you. Enjoy. I right, just came down. It's about to begin. We're at Andrew Sandler's house. One of the top dog, if not the top dog of saltwater reef stuff. This is the craziest aquarium you'll probably ever see. Uh, you might have seen it before on the internet. Rodrigo's been here before as well. A couple of famous people have been here. This thing's like 17,000 gallons. He spent over, what, like $20 million <coughs> on this aquarium. I'm sure he'll get into deep detail, but we need to meet Andrew himself. You come down this walkway right here and through this door, I think they're here waiting for us already. Uh, go in, Rod. Come after yeah, you. No, you. You first. Ladies right. first. Hello. Hello, Rod from Predatory. What's up, <laughs> nice to see you. How are you? How are you? Hello. It's great to meet great you. Great to meet you, too. Great to meet you. Oh, my goodness. Look at it Welcome behind you. Welcome to Polo Reef. Polo Reef. It's on your shirt. Yeah, it's not It's not the farm, but... Uh, that is incredible. A lot of salt water here. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> now, what's the first feeling you have as soon as you see uh, this thing? The first thing? feeling I have is I, I really just want to sit on the couch. <laughs> and hang out for a little bit. That, how, why would you ever want to leave? That's, That's a incredible. good question. That is incredible. That is it goes really blue by 3.15 and then sort of psychedelic 6 o'clock on. So there's a lot of different lights, a lot of different views. I mean, we're gonna get more in depth about this aquarium here in a little bit, and there's so much behind the scenes, like behind this aquarium, that you're just gonna be mind boggled once you see it. The front view is just absolutely incredible. How many gallons is this? 17,000. 17,000, wow. And how much coral, how many pieces of coral do you think there is in here? If you had to take a random guess. We lost track of coral and fish in here. <laughs> um, that piece of rock, you could see like the rock structure. Yeah. That piece of rock just comes down and it's just covered from bottom all the way to the top Yep. in coral. Actually, I got a, look at that. World of a difference. How crazy is that? Hundreds and hundreds of fish. What's your favorite fish? That's a great question. Uh, in this day and age, I try not to have any favorites. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a favorite, they die. Yeah, they die. So yeah. you don't have a favorite. And, 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 and diseases and all, they always go after the most expensive. So I, I just try to like stay out of it. Yeah, just say the cheapest one yeah. is your favorite. That's the, that's the way to do it right here. What's the most rarest one? We're actually one? doing a top five now. Um, the, these Personatus angels from Hawaii. Yeah, right here. here. Wow. And then there's one a buy angel in here if I can find him if they could find him there's so he's many in, he's in here somewhere <laughs> some of these fish are monstrous too like there's some big old fish in here look in the back over this there bull tying that's coming yep. this white one yep that was from hawaii that was all white it's been all white it's been all yellow and this is how it's and hey, what does a fish like that cost if you don't mind me asking i just i'm curious that is uh, that is crazy that's probably in the 10 to 15,000 range. That's crazy. So there's just a solid 10 racks swimming right there. Oh yeah, that's that's not uncommon in this tank. There's a big gem tang down there. The difference? Wow. <laughs> this is the guts of the aquarium right here. That's, I, I don't even know what to say. Holy smokes, I guess I'm gonna climb up in here. Wow. That is crazy. Hey guys. I mean, this, this pond just goes deep, deep into corners and there's so many places for all these fish to be. The acrylic is unbelievable. Four inch? Four I mean, inch my inch, yeah. goodness, that is. 
Look at how thick that is. But you may be looking at this, and by the way, I'm taking a lot of inspiration. I mean, I just got the 4,000 gallon pond. You guys have been seeing a lot of videos on that. This is definitely inspiring, although way above my budget, but still super cool. This has got to be a lot in the back end, right? So there's a lot back there that makes this able to run and have all the beauty that it does. How does that get done? Well, Andrew's here to show us. I'm gonna walk you through. It's cool with you standing there, Rod, because it shows how big it is, even though you're small. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a B-roll shot, but I think that's you better. You should than leave that video. on the video. <laughs> and every single angle of this tank just looks like a totally different tank. I mean, I'm sure that was their, their goal, but this cave right here, the amount of fish in here. Oh my goodness, look at the emperor. A beautiful Emperor Angel. They took a, a plastic model box and a little Marco rocks and glued things. So they first made it they first pictures. in a first smaller. They drew pictures, then I approved pictures, then they made it in a box for me. The rock work. That is like midway through construction. What yeah. were you thinking at this moment making this? I don't know. I was You're thinking. You're sitting there like, oh, I'm about to get into this thing deep. Wow. Yep. I'm going to swap over to this camera right here. It's a little tighter. We're, we're in the mix. Here we go, fellas. We're swapping over. Why not, boys and girls? Hopefully you can hear me well on this GoPro. We're in here. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, oh yeah. That has to be one of the coolest shots I've ever got on YouTube. Ever. My whole life. We got Nemo over here and his an enemy. Holy moly. Well, this is our um, lab. Did not expect this. Where are we? We're in uh, coral quarantine. We're in uh, experimental section here. Some display tanks here. <laughs> and more coral quarantine. Hey, and, your hair might uh, be more maintenance than the aquarium, let me tell you. Gotta show people this room, right? What's going on in here? Oh. Scuba divers. I tell you what, you know you uniforms. got a big aquarium when you got scuba gear. Yeah. And, uh,. Our heater is basically natural gas, 1.2 million BTU. Oh my gosh. Come on, what is dude. happening? That is crazy. Yeah. That is insane. Wow. And there's the Montipora from Top Shelf right there. My goodness. You built all this, so you dug out pretty much, essentially, the ground. The house. This was the, the garage? The house ended right here. Built all this. This was their ATV garage, and it was supposed to be my movie theater room. Wow. It was my theater room, and I quickly realized we needed a lot more space, and we watch TV upstairs in our bed now. <laughs> <laughs> that is the biggest skimmer I've ever seen in my life. And there's twins, two of them. We're running one only right now for uh, the pressure. See why I brought the GoPro. It's a little tight back here, and I want to make sure that wide angle. Danger. High voltage. Are you authorized user? I know this Skynet computer intimately. <laughs> wow. And these are, this is the guts of the aquarium, huh? That's the whole automation. It's things checking probes, things checking engine speeds, things checking. We also have probes off the system just in case this goes down that shuts down the UV if it gets too hot. That's awesome. There's so much into this and it's yeah. like, it's set up to the point where if something was to go wrong in a case like this, you wouldn't even know unless you had this stuff because well, there's so we, much in there. We get texts on our screens and our emails immediately when something goes wrong. Custom code, there's more lines in this code, I'm told, than uh, in a, uh, what, a small water plant. These are wrought iron butterflies, deep water Japan, along with uh, some leopard grasses. Yeah, these fish right here, I don't know if you're familiar, but these are, uh, Wrought iron not butterflies. not cheap no. to say the very least. These are these are very expensive. These are as little like quarantine tanks prior. A whole room full. There are stairs. Thought it ended here. You're wrong. Look at all these clams. How many clams do you have in the big tank? None. The fish would demolish them. <laughs> Look at this LPS aquarium here, guys. This is crazy. Two of threes. One. Two, and there's one in the main display. That's crazy. Look at that. These are the only pair in existence right now. These right here? Knocks. Yeah. And there's a pair so they can have yep. babies. Yep. That would be good. They, they, they got divorced for a while. We had to separate them and now they're back together. <laughs> they got they divorced got for a while. Yeah. 
It happens, right? Yeah, they fight and it they happens. come back. Yeah, they come back. That's awesome. And then that's just another, another tank. throwout tank that, yeah. we, that we've been growing coral in France. Hey, buddy. Let's see with the lens. That's crazy. I love it. I love it. This is like uh, me. I'm like in a candy shop right now. Look at the size of that ten foot. Ten, 10 foot long? 10 foot, 10 bolts. How many uh, wattages? Uh, just under 400 per bolt. <laughs> yeah, slide in there, you get a nice tan for you sure. Get, you kill some free, free swimming ick and, and all sorts of diseases in that. What is down there? We're going to find out in a second. What is down there? The engine room to the Titanic. Oh. You the want to go down there? Yeah, let's go down there. Okay. The audio might not be ideal, but it's fine. 40 feet below grade. Wow. 40 feet. And this right here, guys, is the guts to the aquarium. Literally what makes this thing stay so beautiful. See the engine's ready to go? Bro. And you built, you literally built onto the house oh, for all God, this. Four years. Four years, four years of years work. 1,200 gallons a minute. She's it cranking. So much, it, it foams like a skimmer. What a, and you need what a setup. an elevator to bring things down from outside. Yeah, of course we need an elevator. Why wouldn't we have an elevator? An elevator. They're just feeding the aquarium right now. Oh my gosh and fish that you typically don't see. It actually might even be cooler from the gym side. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. There's so many little mice of shrimp everywhere. Oh, big shrimp, oh, got smoked. Wow. It really shows you how big this tank is. She's in there right now spraying the corals off. Holy smokes! I didn't know you were this into it. Oh yeah. I didn't know you like fresh water like this. Okay, so we just came outside, by the way, beautiful property here. And you walk over here, you got these waterfalls coming from both sides. Not only the left side over here, but also this side over here. The pond is big and it's deep. And the size of these fish. Do you like koi too, I guess? I love them. There's another pond on that side that will fix oh, yeah. after the next winter. I see that, yeah. Let's maybe we'll put some smaller ones there. Oh, these are massive. They're these massive. are like three, four feet long. You know, I feel like Andrew's just a lot of people's like intrusive thoughts, you know? Like people that are in this hobby think like you, but just can't do what you I do. I get it, I get it. And then you just do it, you know? Do it. I, Which is awesome. I just go for it. Andrew, thank you so much for having me. Oh, really That was absolutely insane. Caferos. This is just one of a kind of aquarium. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. I mean, this is, he literally has an award sitting over there that is the best aquarium of the year. He knows his stuff as well. He's not just literally- But you know your hobby. YouTube stuff, so I'm learning from you. We can trade information. Right, you know? exactly. It's cool because he does have all these people that are working on this uh, with him, but he knows just as much as everyone. So God forbid something happens, he's always ready to go. I have a couple questions, and this is probably questions that some people watching here might have. Sure. And they're very generic questions. Yeah, let's hear it. An aquarium this big, 17,000 gallons, a lot of fish, obviously. And, what and is, another 10 to 15,000 of gallons around the behind house. Behind it. Exactly. Around the house. Just so, everywhere. Yeah, there's almost 30,000 in the house. What What does something like this cost you to maintain monthly? Gone up probably from um, 30, 40 to the 60, 70,000 dollar range now a month. Wow. Well, fellas, so that is more than I made. It's, 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 it's a million dollars a year to run. Awesome. And then there's a whole social media yeah. expense which is right now being flushed down the drain because there's no revenues coming in, but maybe one day there will be. And so the meantime, you gotta check out Polar Reef. Yeah. And, and along with him making this amazing content for you guys, he can also restore reefs out in the wild with how much he has here. It's a full lab. By subscribing to his channel, you can literally help out the fact that coral reefs can be refurbished and out in the wild. you can buy our swag online. Uh, that's polarreef.com. All that money goes to charity to schools, to education, and reef conservation. Nice. See, this guy's, he's a great guy. He allowed us to come over into his literal home. This is his home, his chill area, and I appreciate it. Big time, awesome. big time, big time. Thank nice you so much. You. This was a crazy experience. Make sure to go check out Polar Reef's channel. It's in the description down below. Subscribe to it. Polo uh, underscore reef on Instagram. Take one last look at this absolutely beautiful 17,000 gallon aquarium. I mean, my goodness. That is insane. It puts my little pond to shame.
Now you're orange. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. What happened there, Rod? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Peace.